I'm Ruth Francis and this is Plant Oxford. I'm Ruth Francis bringing you all of the style and the glamour from the red carpet and I'm here at the prestigious Royal Courts of Justice in central London for one of the most glamorous nights of the year. How much would you like to back comb my hair? Oh, I'd like this so much your hair. Now look at that. Tell me if that's not sexy in a minute, right? Cameraman's not agreeing with you, Lee. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it likes microphones. <laughs> Oh, loads of people have done that. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's right, we're here at Plant Oxford, home of one of the most iconic cars in Britain, the Mini. They're always well put together with intuitive, easy to use controls and the best materials. The thing is though, for all those familiar features, this is a Mini like no other. We're here to find out exactly what it's like to drive on a day-to-day -day basis and have found six Outlander PHEV owners who use it for very different reasons. Amazing art and architecture, great food and fashion, but Bristol is famous for a couple more things. It's nightlife and it's music and I've been looking forward to them all day. One of the reasons why Volvo owners love their cars is the company's outstanding reputation for safety. The quality of the service your car receives isn't the only reason to accept the Volvo service promise. If you'd like to see the kind of work their creatives come up with, call Team Darwin for a meeting. The Italians have an uncanny knack of taking the mundane and giving it a new lease of life, whether it's fashion, cuisine, or the humble coffee. Britain has bounced back and is once again a major force in car manufacturing. The beauty about doing a road trip like this is you get to test their car out on all of the windy, picturesque coastal roads. I mean, check out the view. The only thing that seems to be missing is a little bit more sun. You can take the girl out of the UK, but the weather seems to follow. Well, all good things must come to an end and we've had another exceptional night here on the red carpet. And speaking of style and substance, I have seen a fabulous pair of shoes in one of those little boutiques. So, well in Milan. 